Hello everybody, it's Muriala here once again, and welcome to another figure unboxing. And it's another age-restricted figure unboxing because we've got some boobs, oh yes. So yeah, I've, this one was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I saw it and I'm like, okay, I'll get it. I mean, I've been thinking about her for a while and kind of looking for her, but I mean, it's a slightly older figure, and it's a popular line, so they tend to be very expensive. Um, this one actually is not the original version. It's a recolor version of her. But yeah, uh, let, let's go ahead and get her open so you can see who she is. We do have a couple figures kind of from the same line already that we will look at with her later. Uh, as you can see, I got this one off of Amazon. Um, the actual seller was, <laughs> it's a, not a very fun, or, ha it's a strange name, but it's Japan Good Product. But they had good ratings, and it was fulfilled by Amazon, more importantly. So, I think it should be a legitimate figure. You always got to be careful, because there are sometimes bootlegs on Amazon. I can see her and she is large and there she is yes we've got another sin and get her out and get her up so this doesn't fit in frame this is Asmodeus uh, Asmodeus uh, the Hakugin no Koromo version of her the and it's the like I said the recolor version so uh, some things that have changed are her boots are white her corset is white uh, her cup like cape thing is has a white back instead of black and it's got like silver accents uh, her boob coverings have like silver stripes um, her hair is a more darker red instead of pink and she has uh, red eyes instead of green. If you'd like to see more of what she looks like originally, we have the Kurishiri Ice Cream No Bushi version of her. So yeah, you can see black boots, pink stripes, pinker hair, and green eyes. But, um, so the reason I kind of picked this one up, uh, like I said, I got her off of Amazon. And I paid $134 for her. The original version was much, much more expensive. Uh, I think the original was more of a, an exclusive as well. This one was not an exclusive. Uh, she's manufactured by Orchid Seed and is listed as a 1 8 scale figure. Uh, I think she is closer to 1 7 scale. But that's what she's listed as. And she was released uh, originally uh, September 19th of 2014. And like I said, I ordered her from Amazon two days ago, the third or the second. And, you know, prime shipping. Gotta love it. Um, yeah. And I have found her for cheaper at other places. But once again, they're on the other side of the ocean. So once you factor in shipping... I still paid $4 more, but um, there's a whole convenience factor. I don't have to sign for her and, you know, two-day guaranteed shipping. And I just noticed she has some metal twist ties. So I'm actually going to get up and grab some uh, wire cutters because we all know how much those metal twist ties are the devil. <laughs> So, yeah, but uh, in, in case you don't know, Asmodeus represents the sin of lust. So, yeah, there is the side of her box with the, you know, pentagram. There is the back of the box. And I have seen pictures of her, so I kind of have an idea how I'm going to display her. Uh, she is cast offable. There is the other side of her box. And the top. I don't know if I said it, but she is manufactured by Orchid Seed. 
I'm all over the place today. And there is the bottom of the box. So, one thing I notice about Amazon is they all never really get manufacturers right in the description. They actually her description is actually image version of the seven deadly sins. Haku Hakuin no Koromo Asmodeus Lust, 1A scale PVC figure by Anime Wild. No, it's not by Anime Wild, it's by Orchid Seed. And Hobby Japan. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this beauty open. So there's three seals. It's a very heavy duty corrugated cardboard box with like a silver liner. And she has instructions. So let's open the instructions and have a look at them to see how to take her clothing off. If we can, <laughs> if we can master taking paper out of a plastic baggie, it's a very difficult skill to master. <laughs> yeah. So there's instructions in Japanese. So okay, I thought her tail is permanently attached, and I saw a video where it fell off, so I was kind of worried about that. But it does come off. Her cape comes off. There's her cape. Uh, her belt comes off and everything and if you want there's english so we'll keep this handy um i have read horror stories about at least the original version where she has a metal chain and it rusts so hopefully we don't have rust issues with this one but there is uh, Asmodeus in her blister packaging from the front and from the side uh, from the back it's much brighter with uh, the white cape and then the other side and back to the front so one thing about the seven deadly sins is they come with a massive base which you don't technically need to use so you don't have to but I, the way I look at it, why not? <laughs> well, maybe if you wanted to, like, stagger them. So, yeah, there's tape on the side. There's three pieces per side. And then, like I said, there are metal twist dies. Like, right there and right there. And I hate trying to get them out and on time, so we'll just uh, cut them with some wire cutters. Maybe. I said we'll cut them. There we go. And there we go. Much easier than trying to untie them. And they can be thrown in the garbage. We'll look at her base first. So once again, it's got quite some heft to it. So there, the, this one side is like a demon face and it's got lust, which is her sin. And then on the other side, it's got a heart and it's got her name, Asmodeus. So I think I'm actually going to use this side because I like the heart better than the devil face. So you can take the top off. And the inside is hollow. It's got some weight to it. Uh, and this has like a rocky base thing for her to stand on. And some plastic pegs. So I do have the Satan one as well, the Sin of Wrath. And she has metal pegs. And I have read that these pegs are very fragile. 
So we'll be careful with them. Wow, I'm already at 10 minutes. So now we have Asmodeus. So pretty sure that her head has to come off. So that we can get the plastic off. There's one sheet. And then I'm pretty sure her hands come off. So that we can get the cape off. That's a pretty tight fit. That is a very tight fit. Um, I'm going to take her tail off so I don't accidentally break that. Um, Come on. Okay. This calls for looking at instructions. Remove head, arms, tail. Please pull out perpendicularly. Remove the coat, cloak. Remove the cloak from the right arm, neck part, and left arm as last sequence. Okay, so it's supposed to come up like this and this. Wow. That is a very tight fit. I wonder if maybe I'll have to edit this because this is taking a long time to get apart. Well, we'll take the plastic off of her boots. <laughs> Makes some progress, at least. Yeah, I'm probably going to edit this. Come on. You can do it. Almost had it, almost had it. <laughs> okay, so it's so tight, we actually kinda broke it a little bit. So yay. That's never a fun thing to see. Um, so now, oh, her boob cup fell off. There's a little tiny piece of tape on the inside. And we have nipples. So yay, adult content, age restriction is a go. And for now, at least, her chain is not rusty. plastic holding her corset off and then it looks like yep, that fell off and that comes off um, the inside where it attaches does look a little rusty maybe a little dirty I'm actually not planning on displaying her with this piece so it's not it's okay and then her skirt, there's pegs right there, and that comes off. So yay, we've got her completely disassembled. Uh, if I decided to edit this, uh, welcome back. If I decided not to edit this, then, uh, well, you just watched me fiddle with her for quite a while. So yeah, she has lots of pieces. Uh, we'll start with her cape. Ooh. So the back is very nicely detailed and like it has like scroll work on it. And each of the little 
leave wings or whatever it has a little plastic tip thing and then on the original version this was black and on the inside we have lots of like silver and silver stripes on the original version it was more of a purplish pink color and this was very difficult to remove from her body so I don't know how much I'm going to use it and in taking it off I did break it a little bit right there at least I think it's broken I could pr probably just put a little dab of glue in there or I can leave it as it is well we'll see how it goes um, she so she has like a corset and I'm not Probably not going to use this one, but it would wrap around her belly, and it just sticks on there. It doesn't, there's really nothing that really holds it. It does have a metal chain, and I've read on the original color version of her that this chain does rust, and it's a big, big castle. So, like I said, I'm probably not going to use this because I love how the way her belly looks. Um, so next we have her boob cups. So on the original version, they were... The silver stripes were actually that same purplish pinkish color. And then on the inside, there are little holes for her nipples. And little pieces of double-sided tape to hopefully help hold them on. Um, so her tail. Unlike the Kuri Shiri Ice Cream Nobushi version, it does not have stripes on it. And it's keyed so it only goes into her butt one way. Um, her hands. So her gloves have little, like, almost tart shapes and stripes on them like on the original that those would be this that same purplish pink color and her hands are very nicely done she's got like a very light shade of white on her for her nail nail polish could paint could be a little bit cleaner on them but they're they're good enough and it's so tiny it's not something you'll ever really notice um, so her skirt, she's got a very nice belt buckle, and there's nice screen printing on it, so like flower de details all over. And she's got a hole in it with a yeah, little shackle thing for her tail to go through. And oddly enough, she has like panty lines, but if we look... She has a thong on, so those panties lines don't make a lot of sense. And then we have her head. So like I said uh, in the three color version, her hair is red, not pink. And her eyes are red instead of green. Um, and her horns, I think, are a lighter shade of gray. And they're very long. Um, I th I've thought about this recently, and these girls with the horns on their head, they must have a hell of a time sleeping. <laughs> because if they're trying to lay on a pillow, their horns are in the way. But, I mean, her hair looks to be pretty nicely detailed, and it's all over the place. And now, the last piece is her body. So she has a very nice body, very nice boobs. Um, there's lots of shading on here. She, it has a reddish tint to it. It probably won't show up on the camera very well. Uh, her back is very nicely sculpted. Lot, lots of detail there. And there is her booty and her crotch. So she has very small underwear on. And... A little bit of meat on her bones, which is a good thing. Nice nipples. Uh, she's got a heart on her collar. And straps. Lots of straps. It's a strappy brassiere type outfit. 
and like her, like I said, her boob coverings just uh, they just go on there. Nothing really holds them on. So it may be a little bit difficult. We'll worry about that after we start getting her clothed a little bit. So the way I intend to display her is with her boob coverings on and with her skirt on, but not her corset because I love her belly. Her belly is amazing. And I don't know if I'll put the cape back on or not. We'll, we'll see how that looks. So for now, uh, we'll, we'll do the simple, simplest version for now, which is just her naked. So get her on the base carefully. And then I think we'll put her hands on. And then we'll put her head on. And we'll put her tail on too. There we go. So there is Asmodeus cast off. We'll do a little spin around of her like that. Like I said, she has a very nice body. Very indicative of the sin of lust. Oh yes, lust. Very nice booty. The paint job, for the most part, is pretty good. But I've said this before: the very those like stripes. It's hard to do those perfectly. So there are some bleeding. You can tell they're hand done, hand painted. So I. I'll, I'll give him a pass on that because I know it is a very, very difficult thing to have done right. So we'll go ahead and take her head off again. And her arms. And her tail. And now we're going to try to get her skirt on. So this may be difficult to do because of the way the pegs are. But I want to have her with her skirt on. So... Yay. So it just wraps around her. Oh, it's actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. That went right on. So I'll still leave her tail off because, well, I'm not going to use her corset. We'll just throw it on for now. And yeah, it's very loose. So that, that's what she looks like with her corset on. And I think the chain is actually supposed to be on the other side. But like I said, I'm not planning on using this, so we'll just ignore that. Um, so this, if possible, I would like to have this on her, but it is a very fiddly operation. Let me take her off the base because I don't want to break it. And maybe we'll do another time lapse. Maybe we'll do a cut. I don't know. Um, come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, so it goes on a little bit easier than it comes off. Uh, now we'll put her hands on. Uh, if we notice on her arms, she has like scalloped edges and that's to account for her gloves. So there's that one and there is that one. Now we'll put her and we'll put her back on the base, actually. Now 
Now we'll put her tail on. And then we'll put her head on. And we'll leave her with her boots out for now. And do a quick spin. Yeah, I would like to leave that cape on. So now we'll put her boot coverings on. And I think her cape helps hold these on as well. Because it's a little bit more difficult to get them on like that. Or am I doing it with the wrong one? Come on, get on there. Come on. Close enough, they're on. I'll, I'll fiddle with it later. So there she is. This is how I'm going to display her. Like I said, I'm not even gonna bother putting this on. Yeah, spin her around a little bit. She is very beautiful. Like I said, very indicative of lust. Very nice figure. Um, like I said, there are the the fine lines are painted a little little sloppily, but I know that's a very difficult thing to do. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put her on her big base. There are little pegs that you can line up that you should line up. So yeah, there is Asmodeus, how I'm going to display her. And just for comparison's sake, we have Satan as well. And we have the ice cream version of Asmodeus. So we'll move a little over. So the ice cream version is 1 7 scale, which is actually more like a 1 6 scale. And these two are 1 8 scales, which are actually more like 1 7 scales. So yay, there's that. And just a little bit more of a close-up of her. I love that belly. She needs to have it exposed. I mean, they definitely go together, but of course they will because it is a set. And there she is from the back. Yeah. So anyways, this is Asmodeus, uh, the Hakugen no Koromo version of her. This is the recolor version. And we'll just get her out a little bit more in front. And because this is adult content, she can have her boobs out. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the, this is the recolor version. So boots are white instead of black. She's got white on her cape and silver where it should be like purplish pink. Her eyes are red and she has uh, redder hair than normal. Um, she is from the Seven Deadly Sins and she represents the sin of lust, which is very fitting to the way she looks. She is manufactured by Orchid Seed and is a 1 8 scale. Um, and she was originally released September 19th of 2014. I bought her off of Amazon from a seller called Japan Good Products. Uh, the name sounds fishy, but they are were she was fulfilled by Amazon. So that's something to look for if you're worried about bootlegs either get it from Amazon or fulfilled by Amazon and you're almost guaranteed it's going to be safe. 
Um, and I paid $134 for her. So uh, the original version was more, it was an exclusive, I believe. So it is typically much more expensive. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see if I edit this or not. I'm out. Bye-bye.